So since there's not been a lot to do in WoW of late, I've decided to start farming for pets, mounts and achievements that I've yet to obtain. So I thought I'd post a video on how to get the Winterleaf Spriggan pet. In order to obtain this pet, you need to complete the achievement Abhorrent Adversaries of the Afterlife. This requires you to defeat 10 specific pets within the Shadowlands. Timestamps will be in the description box below if you need to skip to a specific pet battle. The pets I use to complete this task are listed on the screen right now and all of the abilities I used will be mentioned before the particular pet battle starts. Also if you find the video helpful, a like and subscribe would be much appreciated. So starting in Bastion, head to coordinates 5374 as shown on the map to face Crystal Snap. The pets I used for this battle were the Unborn Valkyrie with Shadow Slash, Curse of Doom and Haunt, Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw and Flock, and the Zandalari Kneebiter with Hunting Party, Black Claw and Bloodfang. But any pet should do in the third slot as you probably won't need it. So first cast Curse of Doom. Then cast Haunt. Then bring in Icky and cast Black Claw. Then cast Flock. The combination of all the debuffs combined with Icky's attacks should be enough to defeat the pet. But if not, bring in your final pet to finish it off. Staying in Bastion, head to coordinates 4749 as shown on the map to face Costas. The pets I used for this battle were the Clockwork Gnome with Metal Fist, Blitz and Build Turret, Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw and Flock, and the Zandalari Kneebiter with Hunting Party, Black Claw and Bloodfang. But any pet should do in the third slot as you probably won't need it. So first cast Build Turret. Then cast Metal Fist. Then switch to Icky and cast Black Claw. Then cast Flock. When Costas dies, it will revive since it's a mechanical pet. If Flock does not fully defeat the pet, then cast Savage Talon to finish it off. For the last pet in Bastion, head to coordinates 2631 as shown on the map to face Digalore. The only pet you need for this fight is the Dream Whelpling, with Emerald Bite, Toxic Skin and Emerald Dream, as it can solo the pet. The other slots can be filled with any other pets for backup if needed. So first cast Toxic Skin. Then cast Emerald Bite. Then cast Emerald Dream. This should be more than enough to defeat Digalore. If not, finish it off with your other pets. Now head to Ardenweald, coordinates 2663 as shown on the map, to face Chittamore, who is inside a cave. 
the pets I used were the mechanical Pandaren Dragon with Breath, Thunderbolt and Explode, Chrominius with Bite, Howl and Surge of Power, and the Dream Whelpling with Emerald Bite, Toxic Skin and Emerald Dream. So first cast Thunderbolt. Then cast Explode. Bring in Chrominius and cast Howl. Then cast Surge of Power. Then keep casting Bite until you die. When your Whelpling comes in, cast Toxic Skin. Then cast Emerald Dream. Then cast Bite to finish off the pet. For the next pet in Ardenweald, head to coordinates 3444 to Fierce Briarpaw. This fight is extremely easy if you have at least two pets with the Dive, Burrow or Lift Off ability. The pets I used were the Olive Tail Hare with Scratch, Dodge and Burrow, the Dark Whelpling with Shadow Flame, Call Darkness and Lift Off, and the third pet was irrelevant. Please note, the pets need to have a decent amount of speed. So for clarity, my hair had a speed of 322 and the whelpling had 240. So first cast your default attack twice, no matter which pet you are using. Then cast either burrow, dive or lift off. Then swap to your second pet, in my case the Dark Whelpling, and again cast Burrow, Dive or Lift Off. Then once again switch back to your first pet and again cast Burrow, Dive or Lift Off. You are going to repeat this process of swapping between the two pets after every burrow, dive or lift off, until you win. You should be able to do this without taking any damage.
The last pet in Ardenweald is inside a tree. Coordinates 50, 40 for the entrance. Head inside to face Mistwing. The pets I used were the Unborn Valkyrie with Shadow Slash, Curse of Doom and Haunt. The Olive Tail Hare with Flurry, Dodge and Stampede. And Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw and Flock, but any pet should do. So first cast Curse of Doom. Then cast Haunt. Then bring in the Olive Tail Hair and cast Dodge. Then keep casting Stampede until your pet dies. If Stampede does not defeat the pet, then bring in Icky and cast Savage Talon to finish it off. Now head to Revendreth, coordinates 26-24 to face Sewer Creeper. The pets I used were the Unborn Valkyrie with Shadow Slash, Curse of Doom and Unholy Ascension. The Zandalari Kneebiter with Hunting Party, Black Claw and Blood Fang. And Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw and Flock. But any pet should do. So first cast Shadow Slash. Then cast Curse of Doom. Then cast Unholy Ascension. Cast Shadow Slash. Then bring in the Zandalari Knee Biter and cast Black Claw. Then cast Hunting Party. If Hunting Party does not defeat the pet, then bring in your final pet to finish it off. The next pet in Revendreth is at coordinates 5341, midway up a castle, and you will find the Countess. The pets I used were the Dream Whelpling with Emerald Bite, Emerald Presence, and Emerald Dream. Pick any other two pets for backup, as your Whelpling should be able to solo it. So first cast Emerald Presence. Then cast Bite three times. Then cast Emerald Dream. Then cast Emerald Presence. Then cast Bite until Emerald Dream comes off cooldown. Then cast Emerald Dream. Then reapply Emerald Presence. Then cast Bite to finish off the pet. As long as you maintain Emerald Presence, 
and you use Emerald Dream when it becomes available, then you can't really lose. If the Countess does kill you though, then finish it off with your backup pets. Now head to Maldraxxus and go to coordinate 6279 as shown on the map to face Gelatinous. Now I have no idea if this is a bugged pet battle or if this is indeed how it is intended, but Gelatinous for me was only showing as a level 1 pet. This meant I could kill it easy with any setup. I tried this fight on multiple characters on different realms and even on the PTR and it still showed as a level 1 pet no matter what I did. If this is a bug then it won't stop you from getting the achievement, but this particular pet battle may not be so helpful, so you may need to look up a separate gelatinous guide for this particular fight. My apologies if this is the case. The pets I used for this battle were the Unborn Valkyrie with Shadow Slash, Curse of Doom and Haunt, Icky with Savage Talon, Black Claw and Flock, and the Zandalari Kneebiter with Hunting Party, Black Claw and Bloodfang, but the third pet was irrelevant. So first cast Curse of Doom, then cast Haunt. Then select Icky and cast Black Claw. Then cast Flock and this should be enough to kill the pet. For the final pet battle, once again in Maldraxxus, go to coordinates 2727 to face Glurp. The pets I used for this battle were the Olive Tail Hare with Flurry, Dodge and Burrow, the Arctic Hare with Flurry, Dodge and Burrow and the Dark Moon Rabbit with Scratch, Dodge and Burrow. This pet was primarily used for backup, as only two Rabbit or Hare pets are needed with the Dodge ability. So first cast Dodge. Then cast Flurry twice. Whenever the pet uses his hook and pulls in your next pet, cast Dodge. Then cast Flurry twice. Just keep repeating the Dodge Flurry Flurry attack until you defeat him. Congratulations, you have now obtained the achievement and the Winter Leaf Sprig and Pet. Thanks for watching, please do like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.